Tyson, you kind of you dispelled dispelled the myth basically that fighters can't really uh, learn a lot in their first camp with a new trainer because obviously you did you know you you performed so well in the fight against Wilder, the last one. What do you think uh, worked so well for you in your first camp with Sugar Hill? And then what do you what do you think Deontay Wilder might be able to change about his, himself in this first fight with his new trainer? Good question. And the answer to that question is, it only took me six weeks to go from a slick boxing counterpuncher to an aggressive knockout puncher. With six weeks with Sugar Hill, changed me full style, full outlook on boxing. Deontay Wilder's had 16, 17 months, however long it is, since we fought to change his style. I believe he probably could have got a degree from college in that time if he would have had, worked hard enough. Never mind changing his boxing style. You know, anyone can do whatever they want in life. Everybody will have a game plan. Everybody will do what they think they're going to do. Until what Mike Tyson said is 100% true. Until they get punched in the face, then they realize that they've got to do what they've got to do to survive. And that's what boxing is. Everybody's got a great game plan until it comes down to it. And that's what it is. Hey Tyson, my, my other question for you is obviously uh, the heavyweight division changed a great deal on Saturday with Joshua's loss to Usyk. Just what your perspective on the fight was and, of course, how it changes what you might do moving forward after this fight. Um, I've only got one fight on my mind at the moment, and that's Deontay Wilder. He's the most dangerous heavyweight on the planet, barring none, and can end your career with one punch in any round. So I can't be thinking about what happened in other fights. I can only think about me. I know it's selfish, but it's a very selfish game that I'm in. Um, so I haven't really thought about Usyk or Joshua. Um, one thing I, I will say, though, while everyone's listening is I've got no interest in slating anybody, you know, or kicking anybody while they're down. It ain't my style. I like to pick on someone who's doing well, successful, on top of the game. I don't like picking on people who are down and probably at the lowest point and probably mentally unstable and unwell with a big loss after such a uh, long uh, reign. So, you know, Usyk done his job. He had to do what he had to do, and that's that. And Joshua's got to do what he's got to do. And, but like I said, none of, real, none of my real business. Can't say I'm interested because I've got the bronze bomber to deal with. And then whoever's next will deal with them, just like I've done the other 31 opponents I've already faced. Thanks, Tyson. Thank you. Thanks, Keith. Uh, next up in the queue is uh, Dan. Dan Raphael, go ahead and unmute and ask your question, Dan. Hey, I, thank you very much, Christina. Hi, Tyson. Hi, Don. Tyson, uh, my question for you is, uh, so the delay has happened, and I wondered, just it's been a while, but think back to the, the immediate aftermath of, of the second fight that you had with uh, Deontay Wilder. I wanted to know how annoyed or whatever, whatever the right word is were you with all of the things that he said were his reasons why he lost. He said that you manipulated your gloves, that his trainer spiked his water, that his outfit was too heavy. There was like 10 different reasons why he claimed he lost. He could never seem to give you any credit for just beating him and being the better man on the night. What was What's your perspective about that? I don't really make much of all the excuses that were flying around for so long. And I think it just made him a weaker character and less of a man, less of a fighter. Because you know, when you get beat, you get beat. Shake the man's hand and, and move on. It's, lots of fighters have lost. Muhammad Ali lost fights. Mike Tyson lost fights. But it's what they do after they lose that makes them who they are. You know, and I don't really, I've not really got a lot to say about what Deontay Wilder was saying. It's none of my real concern because when some, when some people lose, they have to make up an excuse why they lost. And that's probably Deontay Re, De Wilder's reasons for going into this second fight into convince himself of whatever happened and that's up to him good luck to him in the fight and we'll see we'll see if he can do anything better in the second fight third fight rather 